Let's come up nice and tall. Just so what is to just kind of feel your feet into the ground. And just rock your weight forwards and backwards a few times. I'm going to go in and out of zoom if I keep doing that. And then balance your weight. It's between the balls and the heels of the feet, not rolling out, not rolling in on the feet. Okay? Stand lovely and tall and lengthen the back of your neck up. So we've got the chin gently tucked in and the shoulders are down. Hands beside you. If they tend to be in front, just try and roll them out a little bit. That's it, good. Come down towards the side and back up. So we're just mobilizing the joints of the spine and seeing how we feel. Everything you do needs to be in your comfort range. So you don't push anything, you don't hurt anything. I mean, movements like this ideally won't hurt at all. However, if you've got any disc issues or um, issues with the spine, the vertebrae, arthritis, osteoporosis, etc., etc., you might go when you go a little bit too far, you might have a little twinge. So let's try and stay out of that range and into this just comfortable range. Okay. I've just noticed my dishwasher's on. This is the beauty of kitchen. Kitchen studio. <laughs> Carry on. I hope you could hear it. I could hear it. Okay, let's go a little bit further out with the arm and back up. Further out with the arm. Good. And up. So you can bend more through the spine or bend less through the spine and just use the arm. Just see how it feels for you. And whether you go further or not. We've got a little bit of length through the neck there, but again, we're in your comfort range. One more each side. And the other side. Great. So we're going to keep our hips to the front and just start with the hands across the chest. Start to rotate the upper body and back to centre. So as you're rotating, we can feel the spine twist, but we're trying to keep the lower body steady and still. Nothing forced, you don't have to go very far. And we're using, you carry on doing that, we're using the core muscles, so the muscles that wrap around the spine, and we're pulling in a little bit in here. Also the pelvic floor muscles underneath, from your coccyx at the back to your tailbone at the front, those muscles underneath, pull up and support us with our deep abdominals, our transverses, and our diaphragm, the muscles along the spine, all creating that strength around the core. So we're pulling in and up a little. If you just think of tightening as if you're not going to the loo, stopping yourself. Tightening a little, not your buttocks on the outside. We're talking inside now, deeper muscles. And let's come back to center and relax and just twist. Just let yourself rock gently, knowing that there's movement now through out your body, through the ankles, knees, hips, spine, neck arms and shoulders. So look to the front, let's let, look to the front and let the body rotate around the spine, around the neck, that's it, and then turn your head with your body. And then the last one, let's come back to centre, put the feet straight down again. We're going to do a little bit of foot pedaling. So we're just lifting the heels, we'll do that sideways, lifting the heels, moving the knees forward, and we're tracking in straight lines forwards. Try not to be going out like this, just nice and steady. All right, shoulders are down. I've got my lovely Zoom group there, so I have to come forward a little bit and have a look at you. Looking good. I can't see you on Facebook, which is such a shame. I hope there's some people joining in. And would you write me some comments if you're joining in? Or if you're not joining in, write some comments anyway. Tell me you're there. <laughs> and I love the little hearts that float up. They're really nice. <laughs> That's good. So we're really steady. The pelvis isn't doing this. That's the salsa class. So we're really steady. And I'm going to come back again to here. Right, so we're standing tall. One heel comes up, the knees forward. So let's take the other arm up. 
Lengthen it up. If you feel tight around the shoulder, let's go a bit wider and let that shoulder be down in place. Switch sides, shoulder dropping down. So the shoulder blades, the muscles that are the, the bones in your back, the muscles around those pulling them down. So you're not tensing up. Let's do it all wrong here, tensing up, pulling down, creating some neck. Oh, opposite knee. That's it. Good. Hips are lovely and steady. And the last one. And come back down again. Can you stand with one foot behind the other? I'm going to take my socks off for this bit because I want it. And when we get onto the mat, you only want non slip socks or no socks, really. So you're not going to slip at all. So we've got one foot back and one foot forward. Now, mine are kind of almost in line with my hips, maybe a bit narrower, but we could go fully in line. Not if you've got any pain in your hips. Okay, if it's too wobbly, we'll go out a little bit. So see how you feel. You could also turn the toes out on the back foot a little bit for comfort if you need to. So we're here. Get your balance, take your arms forwards. Let's rotate the spine and bring the hand back to the sides of the ribs and return. Ooh, wobbly. And turn. Gonna keep the head to the front again. Rotate. So imagine you're pulling the strings on a bow and arrow. Like you're pulling back and you're aiming and you fire. So what's holding us up here? Particularly the buttocks, the gluteal muscles, the back one, the back leg buttock. Can you feel that? We tighten up a little bit there, straighten that back leg. Now let your head turn with your body. And back and again. Let's just do two more on this leg. And the last time. And then relax, change legs. So either again, slightly apart so it's more comfortable on your hips or in a straight line, you could turn that back foot out. So I've turned the toe out a little bit if you need to there. Let's get our balance. Really tall. Arms come forward, shoulder blades are down, and we twist, keeping head to the front, and return, and twist. Fingers to the sides of the ribs. Feel some heat in the rib cage. So we're breathing with this as well. Breathing out as we pull back, and breathe in. Let's turn the head. Breathe out, turn with it. Breathe in, come back. I want you to breathe wide, in through the nose, out through the nose, and into the rib cage. So think of the ribs expanding as you breathe in, and fully emptying as you breathe out. Fully emptying, breathe out, breathe in. Deep breath. Last one. And let's come back into that position. Feet straight down from the hips, okay? We're gonna go sideways. A hitching squat, we'll go back, and up. So we want to fully warm up the body, and this is a suitable move for everybody, pretty much. You don't have to go deep. Keep going like that. Okay, we're getting a bit louder with the music now. Oh, we've only got that one four off, so we can do it this way. I think that's going down a little bit. Okay, so you're hitching, folding at the hips, keeping a long spine, so it's a lovely safe exercise. So those of you who are comfortable with it, hands come forward and we sink back further and push up. Knees stay parallel and we're keeping this curve in the lower back. Exactly the same as when you're stood up. Sink back, push up. Push through the heels to come up. Down, good, and push up. Two more times. And the last one. Really good. Okay, can you go a little bit wider? So if it's too wide for you on the groin, in the thighs, or maybe even the pelvic floor doesn't feel strong enough, you just come back narrower again, all right? We're going back into that hitch and up. Back into the hitch. That's pulled in. Back into the hitch. Push up. That's it. Just gone a little bit wider. Wider still if you're comfortable with it. Push back. Come back up. Come back. Can we stay down? 
stay here, hands on thighs. Okay, so the abs are pulled in against gravity. We've got a long spine. Feel that? All you've got to do is hold <laughs> and roll back up. Come back up again. So we're just coming back up to standing. Come towards the back of your mat. We're going to bend and hitch as we just did to get to the floor. We're going to get back up again after this, okay? So adapt it if you need to by bringing your knees down and walk forward. So we can come onto the knees and come into position with the hands on the side of the shoulders. So when we're down here, this is four point kneeling, but we've got a little bit wider because that's the, the level that's a little bit easier to do press ups. I want you to bend your arms, bringing the elbows towards the end of the mat and lower your forehead towards the floor and then push back up again. So that's our easiest level. If we go back with the knees a bit further or forward with the hands, hands beside the shoulders and come down with the chest and the nose, that's our slightly harder level, or well, quite a lot harder. Breathe in to come down, breathe out to come up. And just because I know some of you will want to do this, come up onto your feet and do the same thing. Breathe in, breathe out, push all the way back up again. Keeping the head in line with the body. So last one, all the way back up. Now we're gonna stand up, but first, if you can, it's triangle pose. If you'd rather, we can just walk the hands back. We're gonna come back onto the feet, walk back, Put the hips lower, chest comes up, hands to the thighs, or hands out in front, that's harder, and lift yourself up. So standing tall, reach up and stretch. Shoulder blades down. Let's lift onto the balls of the feet. So we're balancing and release down. Bend the knees, soften, lift up. Breathing, come down. Breathe out, lift. Breathe in, come down. One more time. Breathe out, lift. Come down. This time, stand up tall, take one leg behind you. Bend the front knee slightly, and I want you to keep your pelvis square onto the floor. Lift the back leg off the floor. Stretch your arms back like you're flying. Hold it there. Or, harder, tip forwards. Okay. And hold that there. You stay there if you can. You could be using some surfaces in your kitchen or your living room to hold you in place if you need to. Forearms out, front. Okay, let's come back down. We're balancing. Do the other leg. Same thing again. So we tip forward slightly, lift away from the floor. You could go deeper into it if you like. If you're comfortable with that, lift and away. Tuck your chin in slightly. Hold it there. You hold it, let me look at you. Hold it and breathe. Looking good. I've got the telly over here with everybody on it as well. And slowly come back up and reach up. Lovely. Okay, so we're going to get to the mat and stay down. So we've done some warm up exercises, we've done a bit of balance, we've done a few challenging leg strengthening exercises as well. Good posture. Let's get back down to the floor. Walk forwards on the knees and hands, or just the feet and the hands. Come into point position. Hands directly under the shoulders. Now that can be on your knees. Most people like to be on the knees for this, I think. Or even that box. We're just going to hold it still. And I want you to be really steady and press away from the floor, keeping a nice strong back. Tighten into the waist, lift the pelvic floor. Take one hand and tap your shoulder on the other side. Come back down. Change to the other side. So we're going to tap, but we're not dropping. If you want to make it easier, come back into box position. Tap and down. And tap. We're just going to do a maybe four more. If you want to make it harder, up on your feet. Breathe out, lift. Whoop, I'm tipping. Breathe in, come down. Breathe out, lift. Breathe in, down. Two more times. And then let's come down and take the hips back. So our first, just really nice resting stretch. It's called child's pose and we'll just ease the hips back. And just take some lovely breaths so you can really kind of relax your body as quickly and as well as you can in a short space of time. 
Feel the breath coming right round your back, around your rib cage. Okay, let's come back up. If anybody needs to adapt the wrist position here, there's a few things you could do. You could go onto your fist if that suits you. You can get a lot more padding from your matting and go off the end of that. That might suit your wrists. Another thing you can do if you need to come off completely is to come down on your forearms. All right. So that's a little bit harder to move on. So don't, need to, don't expect to go very high from that position. Okay. We're going to be here again, and we're going to take the opposite arm and leg away, just to stretch them, and then slide them back in. I want you to be as steady as you can be. Really steady. Imagine a really strong table, and when you take away one leg and the opposite leg, it doesn't fall over. <laughs> because it's really strong. This time, if you want to work harder, if you feel you've got your balance, lift off like an aeroplane, taking off. Breathing, come down, run along that runway, and land. So the wheels slide away, and then take off, and it's beautiful and smooth. And then back in, and down. Abs really strong, lengthen away. Really good. And then down. And again, out breath. You need your breath for this. Really works with the body. Obviously, we need breath to be alive, but we need nice amounts of oxygen. Using the breath helps us be stronger. Let's hold this one. Let's hold it. Push away from the floor. Come out to the corners with your arm if you can, or lower down. Doesn't have to be high. Draw it back in again. Other side comes out, it doesn't have to lift at all, but it can. Hold it there, balance, and breathe. Let's come out towards the corners. And back down. Sink back down again, this time open the knees wider, and bring the chest down. down. So you can sit on a block or a cushion if you like, a big book, catalogue, <laughs> just the cushion if you need it. But I want you to sit tall and you don't have to be cross-legged, you can sit however you need to, all right? You can even sit on a chair for this, as long as you're not too comfy. <laughs> so sit up tall. So if anyone is on Facebook sitting on the sofa, just watching, you can do this as well, all right? Unless you've been told you shouldn't do these pelvic floor exercises for some reason. All right, let's do this. Most people should be doing them. We're going to remember where our pelvic floor is, okay, or find it if you've never known. <laughs> and men have a pelvic floor as do women, and it's only slightly different. It is a bit different, but not a lot, but the same contractions can be made. So from your tailbone at the back to your pubic bone at the front and underneath, imagine that Nikolai, pants line, whatever you want to call it. And imagine the hip bones at the sides. Join up the points and make a diamond, okay? And we're gonna pull that diamond inwards by contracting those muscles and tightening them. And then release it slowly back down again. So I sometimes teach this in Pilates class, not every single time, just sometimes we bring in a reminder. You can still do it and release, I'll just keep my hands going. A reminder of the pelvic floor. So we're squeezing in and lifting up and releasing back down again. So there's lots of different muscles making up the pelvic floor, squeezing and lifting up, and we're releasing down. Some of them literally go across from hip to hip. So we've got muscle across there. So think of hip bones pulling inwards, if that helps you to get that connection and release. Go from the coccyx at the back to the front and pull forwards, forwards, forwards to the, toe, the, the pubic bone in the front and lift up and release down. This might be easier. Think of your back passage. Think of the middle ladies, the middle area men, and think of the front where you stop yourself having the weave and pull forwards. Getting a bit graphic now, but it really works. So you're tightening and lifting forwards. And my favourite one, which is funny and probably make me bluff, is funny. So this works for women and for men, but men it's more realistic is that you have to lift your external testicles to your spectacles. So I hope nobody's offended by that, it's quite funny and it does help. So girls, 
We imagine we have that and we lift it all the way up to our real or imaginary glasses, spectacles. It's quite easy to remember that one as well, isn't it? And you never drop, don't drop. You lift up slowly, lift everything up, 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 up and then you come down slowly. <laughs> Is it working? I hope it's working. <laughs> Thumbs up from my Zoomers if that's working for you. Is that what? Yes. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. So don't forget testicles and spectacles. That's just a really good one. I also want you to do, that's the slow with your breath, out breath, in breath, coming down. I want you to do a hold for me. Can you tighten back passage, middle, front, tighten it up, lift up inside and still breathe. Still breathe. Breathe into the ribcage and hold it. If you find this really hard, it would be a good idea to practice, okay, to learn more about it and to practice. So hold on and let's, you still breathing? Inhale out and let's slowly release back down. Brilliant job. The third style I want you to practice now is to breathe, um, breathe normally, but to squeeze quickly and release. Squeeze, slowly release. Squeeze quickly, slowly release. Squeeze, I hope you're doing this with me. I'm not alone, am I? No, no. Squeeze quickly and release. Squeeze. Imagine you needed to go achoo and you had a full bladder. Squeeze. I hope the guys are doing it. And squeeze and release. And squeeze. I haven't counted. I just wanted you to do 10. I think you might have done 10 already. Squeeze. One more for luck. Squeeze and slowly release. Down. Now relax. And we are going to relax. We're going to have a lay down. So I am rolling all the way down. If you feel strong enough in the abdominals or turn to the side and lay yourself down. Let's come onto the mat. So here you might want a block or a cushion for your head. You don't want your chin up in the air, feeling uncomfortable with your head falling back. In, in bed, you'd have a pillow. I'm sure we'll have different size pillows. But here, if you're comfortable with the posture, lay completely down. My knees are parallel with the hips and the feet follow that as well. Bring the feet underneath your knees if you can. So we want to lay in what's called neutral spine and that's how we should stand as well and sit. So the pubic bone and the hip bones at the front are level, vertically, sorry, horizontally level. So it would be vertical if you were stood up, wouldn't it? So we keep those level, the rib cage is relaxing down and the space in the small of your back is just enough room for a few fingers. It's not a great big arch, okay? So we're keeping the ribs down, we're keeping that level and we're going to maintain that throughout the session on the back. Um, we come back to it each time when we do shoulder bridge. The shoulders need to open really nice and wide. We find those core muscles. We're pulling down and scooping down with the tummy muscles and lifting up inside to the pelvic floor and releasing off again. So when you're doing something hard, when we're lifting one leg up, for instance, and holding that leg up, you need that awareness of those muscles working. When we come back down again, you can relax. And then we come back up and we tighten. We've got flat tummy pulling downwards. It's nothing to do with what's on top of our abdominals. This is to do with whether we dome outwards and push out. We don't must do that. We need to pull down like there's an anchor pulling down on the inside of your belly. Let's come up to one leg in tabletop and keep it there. So it's called tabletop because your shin is your coffee table, okay? It's like a table. It's at right angles. Lovely. Let's take the opposite arm towards the ceiling. Drop the shoulder back. Now, as you take your arm back, we're going to stretch the leg away. It doesn't have to go low. Bring it back and in. So your arm doesn't have to get to the floor and your leg doesn't have to get to the floor. But to progress this, we would go further towards the floor, lengthening through the hip and towards the floor with the shoulder as well if you can. Breathe out, lengthen away and breathe in. So we're going to do about four more on that leg, but some of you might feel strong enough to have both legs up and both arms up. And then we alternate opposite arm and leg and back in then the other side. So let's carry on and do about four more on one leg and then eight to ten on the other leg. See how you feel. Breathe out, press away and breathe in. Be really conscious of what's happening in your core and your spine and that it feels strong. It doesn't feel compromised at all, there's no pain. And you're using your breath. 
Good. So don't forget to change legs if you're just doing the one side and the opposite arm. Shoulders dropping back towards the mat. Last couple of times. Last one. Let's draw the knees into the chest. Bring them both up, so it could be one at a time, but you've got them both up, hold onto the thighs and have a little rock and take the knees wide. It's just a really nice squeeze for the back. Go round in circles. And back the other way. Okay, let's bring the feet down carefully. Roll yourself over to face me onto your side. And this is just a great exercise to do. We're going to lift up through the waist, put the feet on top of each other. And this is, this is not necessarily a beginner's exercise, but we'll keep the level low and I'll add in that to our harder level as well. So for starters, we're going up in the air with the arm. We're going to take it underneath the other arm and thread through, look over your support arm, and maybe see your fingers pop out. Come back up with control and reach to the ceiling. And back down. Maybe see the fingers. Don't force it though, you're twisting through the spine. Imagine a fern. Well, you know when they unfurl really slowly. Let's come through. As you come up, can you lift your knee up? So at this position, hold it here. We are holding our body still, we're squeezing open, we can feel the buttocks working. Okay, bring the knee down, come back through. I know some of you are going to want to work harder. So we lift the hips off the floor. We do the same thing, hips off the floor, thread through. So you can stay down if you need to, okay? Squeeze the butter as you come up. The glutes work hard, thread through. Come up, squeeze. Come down, knees down. One more. And up, can we hold it there? And go down and up and down keep going you could have your hips down for this you could even have your hand down if you need to all right or well, we can be up here squeeze and squeeze the pelvis isn't moving the body stays strong and long we've got one more to do squeeze up come down and relax brilliant come and sit up so either legs to the side, like I have, or well, this back leg might need to come out. Depends on your knee and your hip, really. Okay? Reach up, and let's stretch over the top. So lovely, long stretch through the waist that's just been working. We can assist with our other hand if you want more stretch, but don't worry if that's enough. And release it. Let's just do all that on the other side. Let's come out and lean on the forearm. Feet together, lift through the waist, keep that position. We're gonna be lifting that knee, but not before we start here and thread through. See if you see your fingers pop out behind and come back up. Nice and controlled, breathe out, come through. Breathe and come up. And breathe out. So we're gonna lift the knee this time Open the knee, keep the body still, squeeze into the glutes and the hip, and down. And back up. Some of you might want to lift the hips, and down. So there's always easier options in Pilates. You could be doing just the rotation with hips down. You could be adding the leg opening in and the open. You could be lifting the hips. And there are a couple more things I can give you to do to make this a lot harder, but not this week. Okay, one more. Let's hold up here and close the knee and open the knee, squeeze. Drop the shoulder down so we're not tensing up around the neck. Squeeze, well done. Squeeze up. Last two, and the last one, squeeze, and bring it down, relax. Sit yourself back up, bring that back leg out if you need to in front of you. Reach out. 
over we go. And we've got the hand if you want to increase the stretch. Just onto those wrist bones. Just use those to help ease you. And release that. Lovely. Okay, this is our final two breathe exercises. Again, roll yourself down or turn to the side. So if you don't feel strong enough or your spine shouldn't be rolling down, just do that nice and easily. Feet go underneath the knees, knees parallel. From the neutral spine, tuck the pelvis under into pelvic tilt and start to roll and lift your bottom away from the floor. Hold it there, breathe in through the nose into the rib cage. Breathe out, come down, upper back first. Scoop down, one vertebra at a time, coming down till we relax again. Let's do it again. Tuck under, breathe in, breathe out and lift. We're pushing through the heels. Breath in, breath out. Think of your spine in four areas. The pelvis, the lower back, the lower ribs, and right up into the shoulder bridge area. Now you don't have to lift all those areas. You might just want to get to just the lower back coming off the floor. Then we breathe in and out, come back down. You might be happy to come right the way up. Just see how you feel. We've got the tummy muscles scooped in. We're lifting up the ribs up down towards the pelvis. And down. One more time. It's the last one. Tuck under, breathe in. Lift the pubic bone first. And pull the spine up as if you're lifting a necklace. One bead at a time. Coming up. You can feel your glutes are working really hard. Breath in, breath out, come down. Scoop the spine down, segment by segment. All the way down, it's very restful. I really love this exercise. And then once we're down, take your feet a little bit wider, let your arms go a little bit wider and let your knees start to rock to one side. Back to centre, over to the other side. So we're twisting the spine again. We're maintaining that neutral alignment. So we're twisting, but we're not lifting up. We're not lifting the ribs up. We keep the body strong. Ribs to pelvis. Let the head roll the opposite way. Back to centre. Head the other way. It's a lovely therapeutic exercise, this. Just really restful for the spine. If your hips aren't so keen on that position, we can go feet and knees together. You could even put a cushion or a block between your knees, especially if you have any hip issues. So when you feet together, one foot lifts off the floor, glued to the other. And I can really clearly see where everybody on the screen, including me in this white t-shirt, really shows up. If I went into an arch back, you would see that. If I drop into neutral, you can see it's more straight. And that's what I'm looking for when you're doing it that you're not going to push your ribs up in the air and arch your back or drop your bottom. Okay, let's come back to centre. It's the final one. We're going to finish with a nice stretch for our gluteal muscles by taking the right leg and putting the ankle across the other thigh. Flex the ankle, so pull your toes up towards your knee just to support the knee joint and then lift up off the floor with both legs. You can hold around the outside of the legs or bring your hand down through the space in the middle and hold onto that lower thigh. And let's pull in not just with the arms, but with that lower leg. Keep that work going on so the lower leg is assisting the stretch. And you should feel it all around the hip and the buttock of that top leg. It's a good stretch. Now, you can rock a little bit. You can move if your body feels like it wants you to. Or find the best spot for the stretch, or you can hold it nice and still. See how it feels? Release back down and switch legs. Now, final stretch, we're going to stand up. So pulling in, hands around the thigh, or around the outside of the legs. If it's super tight, you can keep your legs down, and you can just assist that stretch here. Okay. Let's pull in, flex the ankle of that lower, the top foot. Pulling in with the lower leg, as well as the arms. Good stretch. Nice, long, strong, but 
but not, so deep but not noisy breaths, just really kind of soft breathing. It's really good for us. It's great for reducing stress and anxiety, bringing down our blood pressure. So just nice breaths all the way through the session. Let's come back down, uncross the legs, roll to the side. Okay, I really think it's important that we have the functional ability to get up and down off the ground really easily. So if you have any injuries in knees and hips, you might have to adapt, definitely. But otherwise, try and get up without using your hands. Okay, let's just see if we can. So maybe onto the knees. If your knees let you do that, they might not. So you're, you're allowed to cheat a little bit if you're necessary. And we can step up. And I'm gonna push forwards towards you to come up. <laughs> It. That's one way. Sometimes people just come straight up from the centre there. You might need to use your furniture. Let's just reach up and lengthen through the spine. Standing tall. Roll the arms around. Tighten into the toe muscles. Lift up and rotate and reach slightly back. You see how that feels. Come back down. Reach up. Rotate slightly. Tighten the tummy. Reach back and release and then just give everything a bit of a shake love to shake everything off feel good get your fashion moving again give yourselves a massive clap and a huge whoop, high five i hope you feel amazing and you've done really well i hope loads of people on facebook have joined in or will do later because these, these videos are uh, they're all in the group still so you can go back through it and find the salsa fitness there's aerobics there's uh, dynamic Pilates, there's interval Pilates, there's body condition, there's all sorts in there at the moment. So if you want to do any of those, please do. I'm going to say goodbye to the um, Zoomers. No, not the Zoomers, the, the Facebookers, sorry. And uh, I'll see you again soon.